happening. Hey guys, um, finally getting some much needed woods time in. Um, my plan today had been to hike into where I normally camp. Some of you know where that's at or have a vague idea from watching um, my videos. Um, my plan was to hike into my usual spot and turkey hunt, but I kind of just decided to wing it today and do something different um, so I hiked in about a mile and a half <clears throat> I got here a little bit late too I got up and got going a little bit late so didn't have as much time to hike anyway so um, hiked in about a mile and a half and I've been kind of wanting to explore this little creek bed here as you can see it runs down I don't know if you can see the lake that way there's a little cove down there that we camped in several times and I just kind of wanted to come up the creek just a little ways and and uh, see if, if I could find a little bench or ledge along along here not too far up to camp at to be totally out of sight but um, um, I wouldn't want to have to hike too much further up this so this was about the best I could find it really ain't I may explore a little bit tomorrow with the pack off, but um, this is where I'm going to camp tonight. Uh, I got a nice little, you know, something to sit on there, and I figured I'd have my campfire here and set my hammock up over. You can see the strap over there, I think, maybe, I don't know. But over there, I'm going to be on kind of a hill. That's going to suck a little bit, but I'm going to have to walk a good ways and uh, do some, do some, uh, off trail bushwhacking to get get to water and back. I was kind of hoping at some points there'd be enough water in this uh, creek runoff bed, stream bed, whatever, to uh, get water just from right along in here somewhere. This is this is I guess okay place to spot for just me solo, but it's definitely probably not a group camp. It looks like there's some spots over there maybe, but. But this is kind of a little bit of a sucky hill to get up to get to the spots. So. But it's going to be a night in the woods, and and uh, it's a Indiana fall colors aren't it's aren't as bright as I was kind of hoping, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, supposed to be really nice temperatures no rain this weekend so that's that's gonna be cool but anyways I need to get water before it gets dark and get back up here and try to get this uh, set up some get a fire ring and my hammock up and all that good stuff so I'm gonna get off here and I'll come back when I've got camp set up and all that stuff but see you guys in a little bit oh by the way I'm kind of going a little bit more bushcraft this time instead of my my leaky poles I got uh Got an old school sassafras walking stick. And I'm trying to out a bunch of new, uh, quite a bit of new gear on this trip. Um, I'll go through all that later too. Um, but I'm going with a little bit more bushcraft stuff. I'm actually carrying iron. Iron in this. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I can... Uh, I'll get to the gear situation in a little while. So I got my water over here. Didn't spill very much either. And I tell you what, 
that was challenging to get that water and get it back up here. I'm t I picked a really like, challenging spot. In fact, I, uh, before I went to get the water, I kind of looked around a little bit, which this is my next camp chore, getting some firewood. If you look right around me, other than the bench that I'm sitting on, which it's rotted, it rotted up towards, you know, it's buried in the dirt there. Right here around me on this bench, there isn't jack. I mean, I don't know if you can see down there, there's a little, uh, couple little sticks over there. There is one right there that's uh, standing, and uh, that's probably going to be my best bet, and there's one right there. But there's not much wood, like, laying right here on this bench. So, we'll look over there down and up boy there's a lot of wood over there look at that more wood anyway there's some over there there's a big tree there right here where i'm at mm -mm. nope so yeah um not only was the water a little challenging situation now i got to deal with the wood and i need to do it real quick like so um, again i'm gonna get off here um Get the hammock set up over here. Uh, trying some new straps. I got tired of the stock ones that came with this. A lot of times I would, um, I'd get some trees that, uh, that uh, my straps were not long enough for. So yeah, I got plenty of strap now, as you can see. Uh, I think they were like 11 foot, and they came with um, some whoopy, uh, some am steel uh, loop thingies with buckles and and uh, carabiners and I stripped all of it all of it off because I I've, I've, st I've really been liking going with the um, the uh, Marlin spike hitch thank you Shug that was I'm not very good at this whole suspension things but that was something I learned from watching Shug's channel you can see I got a ton of strap um, but so I stripped all the, uh, these are light speed, I think they were actually recalled, so they may break on me. I didn't feel like sending them back, I mean it's a fucking strap, it's gonna, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. If, if not, I'm gonna fall down this hill. But, um, I stripped all the, the carabiner and buckle and all that crap off of it, and like I said, one of the Marlin spike hitch. And that's not the best place to hang. If it does fall, like I said, I'm going downhill. It's going to hurt. Um, yeah, this is not the greatest camp spot that I've ever chose. But I didn't feel like going back up that way. I thought I'd just go ahead and stick to my guns. So I'm going to gather up as much firewood as I can real damn fast. Got me Cornish game hen. And a little Captain Morgan's. You know, gonna brew up some of my fall brew. A little hot chocolate and cider and cinnamon sticks and Captain Morgan's. Alright, well, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright, uh, I got a fire started. I didn't do any special bushcraft stuff to get it going. She used a mini bic, but I did not have any, um, I had no fire starter, so I'm sitting right next to creek bed, so everything's kind of wet, but I got it going. Uh, hey, for, uh, Jeremy Buchanan, he's wanting to know about the two night. Through night PM, I think TN10 or whatever the hell this is. Um, I've already shown it in some videos, but I've never really done a review or anything. But this is on, I believe, medium. There's high. Uh, uh, there you go. I'm cycling through them right there. There you go. And there's a turbo. Yeah, I can see all the way across it. 
all the way across that creek bed on high. You just press it. I just turn it off. That cat was actually low. Yeah, that's low actually. I can't see you know? Anyways. No, I'm not cycling now, that's a problem. There we go, there's low. Sorry. Didn't even have it in focus or anything, but there's low. And that's good enough to see your gear and stuff right around you. I mean, I usually put it on. Anyways, that's why I don't do reviews. But I like the 3 night, 10, 10, 12, whatever the hell it is. That's old Lucy. I don't know how charged that is. It may not last very long. I generally bring it. And um, I got it on my keychain, my um, Lumos. Looks like a bullet vibrator. I forget how many watts it is, but it puts off some light. I usually hang it on my hammock at night. But I'm getting ready to, uh, once we get good bed of coals up there, I'm going to stick that corner, corner scheme in over the fire. Got some bushcraft cooking gear with me. Wish I hadn't got here so late. And it's hot, man. Everything I was doing, and this is a lot of it was a lot of work getting this wood and stuff. I, uh, I pushed one tree down, not a big one, but uh, you can see over there. There's one piece. Can I kind of shine my light on there? That's uh, I don't know, about as big as a baseball bat. And I pushed the tree down and uh, knocked it over the top half of it, which was as big as a baseball bat come down and caught me on the head so luckily I got a hard head or I've been laying down here on this hill tumbling down the hill breaking bones and stuff and been in the jam but I survived we'll work on this fire a little bit be back with you guys in a little bit when I'm cooking or something yeah, I finally pretty much got camp set up fairly well. Now that it's dark and I'm about ready, I'm probably going to eat and go to bed. I, gotta, I think that game hen's about done. I, um, what did I put on it? I actually put pork rub on it, grill mate's pork rub. It's kind of a barbecue seasoning. And might make some mashed potatoes that chicken may fill me up but I was planning on making some uh, apple cider spiked apple cider yeah. kind of wore out from all the wood gathering and water gathering and all that when I was gathering wood I, I, I kind of went up the stream bed there a little bit and for one, I found just just slightly that way, I found a little pool of water, and it was fresh and clean. Um, but I could have gotten water out of it instead of hiking all the way that I hiked to get water earlier. And I'll say, I think I found a, um, a little bit better place up. I'd already gotten things set up here pretty much though, but I think I found a little bit better place just up ahead. Uh, I think I'm going to kind of scout that out some more tomorrow, see if I can find something really cool. I got that game hen just a little crispy on top, but that'd be alright. I think I actually didn't bring as much food as I normally do, which is a good thing. That pack was kind of heavy, I'm just carrying them cooking irons and steel pan but I don't know, brought that much I won't run out of food so I can go home
hungry. Got my patch up on the tree. Got my under quilt on. Brought my down jacket, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. I had a bee here trying, trying to attack me. I mean, I thought it was kind of odd. I don't know if it's a hornet or yellow jacket or what. But it was trying to, it was like on me. I had to jump around the fire, man. I was going in circles around the fire trying to get him. I was trying to bat him into the fire. But it was like dark. I'd never seen a bee come out like that in the dark. I wonder if I disturbed a nest somewhere or something. And then, uh, I think that's the only second time I've used that. that uh, Bushcraft or a uh, bush pot uh, pathfinder bush pot. I got a bag for it. It's crazy expensive. Just for the bag, it was like 50 bucks. Just for the bag alone. It's like wax canvas. But I, I kind of like having something that will um, that will last to put my pot in after I burnt the bottom of it. Got the uh, Pathfinder uh, cooking irons or I think I've, I got a second one for my um my takedown bow saw. This one's for my cooking irons. A lot of canvas and iron on this trip. Grants for Brooks, Brook, uh, Hatchet, Wildlife Hatchet. I like it. You know, I don't have to use it much or not, but I like it. Uh, that's my rain gear, poncho. I'll also use it as an extra tarp if I need. I brought this with me today for. I've never used this for a seed, it's a, uh, it's like a turkey hunting cushion or something. Um, Self-inflating. Actually kind of comfortable. Never used it before though. So I got my dinner cooked. My spike drum. Or spiked, uh, spiked uh, cider, some applewood smoked bacon, mashed potatoes. Then tore the wings and stuff off it. I tell you what, that's good. That's good right there. Mm. I think I'm going to use a different seasoning next time. Or maybe some Italian dressing or something. I don't know. I think I'm going to eat and probably throw that big log on there. It's starting to die down. And I think I'm gonna crash. Get up early in the morning. Right. Morning in the hammock. It's hopefully a snug pack Google blanket. Be pretty warm. Some 
Captain Wafers. And maybe um, some tuna. I don't know. I'm kind of looking forward to coffee, but I don't feel like I don't feel like messing around. I think. Uh, I remember it. Mm -hmm. I brought my, my uh, Pathfinder pack this time. I had it pretty damn loaded too, man. I'm I'm thinking I didn't weigh it, but I, I'm I'm guessing somewhere around 35 pounds. And um I mean, I could feel it on my shoulders and back. I wouldn't want to hike very far with that kind of weight in it. Um, I might hike like a mile and a half in. You know, because it has no waist pack, so it's all on your shoulders and, and uh, back. Um, it wasn't real bad, though. I mean, my, my, my back isn't killing me now from hiking with, you know, with kind of heavy weight. I mean, hell, I, I brought freaking some iron in here and uh and a hatchet and saw and where's my saw I didn't use that but I brought my box here um I had another cool thing I bought a bunch of clothes that I, that I didn't even need <clears throat> I had mentioned in a previous video, I think on Labor Day or something, that um, I had some issues with Sea to Summit. They sent me a new pillow, so pretty happy about that. I'm trying uh, this today or on this trip. Condor dump pouch thing. I'm using it as a water bottle on my hip on my belt because well for one that has no water bottle holder deals on the side like most backpacking backpacks so I have to if if I if I only carry water in it I'm gonna have to get take it off my back and and uh, set it down and get water out so but even on a normal backpack, I'm get I get tired of. Well, I pretty much have to take the damn backpack off because I can't reach back there and get them. I hate where they put the water bottle pockets out on a backpack. So I thought I'd try that Condor dump pouch. I'm not sure what I'm going to do after I eat. I need to filter a little bit of water. I kind of like to hike up that way just a little bit. Maybe not very far, maybe hike up the hill, see what's going on on top. Uh, that's what I'd like to do, whether I do or not, we'll see. Here's my new pan that I I got for my bushcraft pack. That's pretty cool. I bought it in an antique store. I don't know if you can see there. Uh, it says pat patented Acme November 14th, 1876. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't get a chance to use it tonight, but again, uh, Jeremy Buchanan. There's the three night TH10. Comes with a, an extra uh, rubber mount thing. This, this here's a rubber. Um, battery goes in there. You see, it says open. These are the batteries. Um, they have um, some other batteries you can use or like for cameras sometimes you can pick them up in the camera section at walmart but since i vape anyways i just use these and this is a usb charger I mean, it's you know it weighs nothing so you can plug it into your power bank or solar panels whichever you want to do but there it is you just, that's the only button on it and that's the 
like aircraft aluminum. I mean, it's it's gonna last. Um, but you just press that button down and turn it on. Then you press it down to hold it to cycle through the modes. And yes, these batteries are <coughs> are um, kind of expensive. These are eh, 15, 20 bucks. But you know, you recharge them, use them forever. The um, the other ones were kind of expensive too. The ones that don't recharge, so kind of really better off with these, I think. Carry less of them too, really. Just they all carry two of these. As far as for your headlamp, that's going to get you through a, tr a trip. An overnight trip at least um, I usually use these for my vape because they're more powerful and they were the $18 ones and I usually use these for the uh, headlamp I'm getting packed up got the hammock down I think I <clears throat> showed these once before but I got um, one new one but also I want to show how easy they are to carry but um wild edible plants and this is the new one that I got field dressing game uh, knots Indiana trees and wildflowers and mushrooms I mean they're not as descriptive descriptive as a book you know and all that but um but see how much space they take up and I just slide them into this I think it's supposed to be a map pocket but I mean they don't take up any room and they're they're pretty light so but I, I won't carry a book it'd have to be a pretty small book I used to but I mean it's just too much weight and, and that makes a pretty good start for trying to identify things in the knots obviously the knots are you know <clears throat> but it's something I've started liking to carry.
it back down to the creek from up that hill. I think I'm gonna find out what's up that way. Because Interesting. Well, I'm all packed up. I did, a, did some exploring. <clears throat> I didn't find anything particularly cool, but I hiked way down that way, up that way, up into there, and then back down, and then up above me, up there somewhere. So, I'm ready for some food, some like a big old, big old lunch, some Chinese or something. Chinese buffet, that's what I want. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hike on out of here.